Gentlemen, it is time for AWS SCW's premier event for the month of May here at AWS SCW Revenge. Here we are. The commissioner himself, the Sheik Akbar Bashar, making his way out to ringside. Referee Rich sweeping out the ring one last time before we start the show. And being accompanied with our commissioner, his daughter, the former women's champion, Nadia Omari. I wonder if we can find out what happened to Nikki J. As we haven't been releasing a lot of video content lately, we've been changing up on our platforms and services. However, it brought to my attention that Nikki J. had been not only stripped of her title, but fired from AWS SCW. But, matter in hand right now, we have a vacant AWS World Women, I mean, ASWA World Women's Championship and the AWS Women's Championship is vacant. I heard there's something coming up later. We're supposed to find out about that. Let's see what the commissioner has to say. Everybody ready to work some good action? Yeah! Wow, Lord, she did. I have a little bit of bad news. What? Unfortunately, I won't be able to perform tonight. Wow! Oh, Although Riker did to me the last time. Riker did a number of things. I'm still from a little concussion and everything. So Sheik suffered a concussion, staples in the head, and everything. There was something else that happened. Chico and Mateo, the Ramirez oh, yeah. brothers. Yeah, what a betrayal yeah. from family. I wonder how Chico felt. What did brother get to him? I thought the actor was crazy, yeah. but that was even crazier for him to do that. Yeah. That was real crazy. And I was wanting to know if Chico wanted to come out and have a talk. Let's talk about this stuff that happened with blood Mateo. Always thought blood water. But yeah. Mateo yeah. Chico would show come him. out. Not. Who did my talk about? Here we go, Chico Ramirez coming out. I'm ready to hear what the best man in professional wrestling has to say about his brother turning on him. Like, we've been dying for two weeks to find out what happened, why, and what did Chico feel about it. And here we go. Wait a minute. What? What music is Ah, Mateo Ramirez. We thought that was Chico coming out. A whole new theme song here for Mateo. Being accompanied by the slimy grime that is one Adam Helm, former chairman of AWS. I saw him here earlier. We saw some pictures with him and Mateo recently last week. And he, that slimy snake is here. It can only mean bad news. I don't think Sheik wanted to talk to Mateo because we know Mateo is in group with Riker. But let's see what's going on. Yeah, you and that slimy snake. You want to hear what he has to say? No, we don't want to hear what he has to say. Sheik wants to find out what he has to say. Typical disrespect. Don't put your hands on our commissioner. We will have you fine. And fine, buddy. Tell the fans to shut up. Out different. Yeah, they were former GWL tag team champions. Two times. They are a two time AWS tag team champion. One time, MPW tag team champion. He is really tall to win between two great brothers. Maybe Mateo believes that Chico is all about himself. Tag Team Champions, MCW, AWS, GWL, 
But you turn on your brother, you lose everything. What an explanation for you care about. Here we go. Mateo's going to give us an explanation. Oh, is he going to be the real Chico this time? Gasolina, there he is. Usually he waits so long to make that interest, but he is out as soon as the music hits. Speedy Gonzalez himself, the best man in pro wrestling, is with us tonight. I am ecstatic to hear what he has to say. So the fans here, they love Chico Ramirez and the Chicat Marshall, the two biggest, hottest stars in AWS right now. Fan favorite, Chico Ramirez and the Chicat Marshall. Most hated, Eric Riker and Mateo Ramirez. This is the reason why. We got here, we came all the way from Mexico. We got here, we came all the way from Mexico. And they just screamed Chico. Our music, your music. Our music. Yeah. 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 No yeah. tail. So who? Who gets the pin? Who gets the last time to get the end of that match? I mean, it is known that the tail does finish most of the matches. We got a hand here for Chico. I want to hear what he has to say. We have been brothers since forever. You've been brothers yeah. since forever since, since you were born. We've got everything together. Everything. And that's the reason you give me. In this business, you should be brotherhood does come up. But business is business, brother. And I'm tired of being on the backstage. I want a match with you, brother. He's claiming that he's living in the shadows. The real Ramirez brother who's on top. The big brother. Just like when he was little and you took all those butt cuts. And all those butt cuts. That's you probably spit. Mateo. You probably snitched on him. Ha! Fans say you probably snitched on someone. You know what? I believe Chico is going to whip your ass eventually. Might be right here tonight, because if I was in Chico's shoes, I would kick your ass. Yeah, kick his butt! And the only thing is you are jealous of your brother. Chico saying that they're blood. Chico almost is You need to spend money on a haircut. Chico doesn't want to fight his back. Chico is a family man. He loves his brother like a kid. He doesn't want to fight. Wait a minute, what the hell? Who is this? Ace Harris, the Willie Badger, Riker Stooge and Chrome Dummy, the AWS House of Pain champion. Let me know what you're doing. Look, I tried to shut up, boy. The real man's out here. I'm trying to tell you. I told you all week. I tried to tell you a month ago. I told you. Stay at home. Give it up. So this is my last one. I've been trying to tell you. The the stay home, retire, Go stay out the way. And look at the arrogance of Adam on the hill. Hope the ropes up and invite the sheep to leave the ring. If I'm not going to leave, they will have to carry me out before I ever leave. That's right. The sheep will never leave. Because he is a true hero and a true man. Not a follower, but a leader. We got Chico, we got the Sheik, we got Nadia. There's eight, Mateo, and Adam. I like these odds. Uh oh, undisputed champion. So I guess he really is Riker Stooge. He gave him a formal introduction. The Supreme Overlord, Eric Riker. The God Killer, if you guys, you folks at home heard this. The AWS SCW champion because he did beat Cat Daddy. He has unified two championships together. And we got a chant of Riker sucks. It's like a beast of a party here. Riker sucks. 
right goes up, right goes up. There he is, folks, with the cheesiest grin ever. There's a few words I'd like to say, but I know that they would fire me on the spot if I said what went through my mind right now when that slimy, cheesy coward of a human. That is Eric Riker making his way to the ring. Look at them, Nazi Mateo Ramirez. How dare he turtle his brother that way. It's unbelievable. All over what? He has the title with his brother. Why? As he said, Riker kept the people see the light, but it was good with the sheep. He turned Sheik good, he showed the Sheik that the crowd and the fans loved him, but then he turned evil himself, like, what is going on? Here we go, we got Riker Suck Chan again, Riker can't get a word in, Riker Suck! Right, girls, up. Right, girls, up. And right now, there are three in here. Three on three. I don't like Adam Hill on this side. Can't trust him. Right there, you can be shoved that microphone. Up your nose. My AWS SCW. It was going to be a repeat of the last show. And yeah, it was going to be a down this man like a cow. The because there's a new sheik of AWS now. What? And that is your supreme new sheik. overlord, Eric Dreyker. Supreme overlord, Eric Dreyker. What? So the slimy Adam Hill. Bowed down. So did Mateo. Oh my God. He has claimed that the sheep has stolen the spotlight. The sheep has stolen the spotlight. And turned on these idiots. No, you're not. Do it in place. Right girls an idiot. Right girls an idiot. Right girls an idiot. I can find my English Arabic dictionary to find out what Mushrik is. Like the really boy, Kicking her father in the nether region. That'll drop any man to his knees and more. Nadia here shouting at the fans. What? Don't tell me that this troll Riker has even gotten to the family. The daughter, the prodigy, Nadia Omari. Turning on her father like this in the middle of the ring. And what the hell? We got chairs coming in. We know, we know, he, he just got over a damn concussion. What the hell is wrong with you, Riker? Can we get some order here? What the hell? No. We got two chairs here again. Please tell me someone's gonna come out and stop this maniac. We cannot have the sheep get beat in the head again. What in the hell, what? No! He shipped him of his jacket. Spear! Riker's spear! What? 
this guy is still suffering from a concussion. What are you doing? He's jamming his leg in here. The Sheik is almost unconscious. I think he's coming to He's realizing they're doing something to him. Money is a hell of a lot better than blood. What the heck? What? And Adam Hale's here just spitting in the face of Chico telling him that money is more than, than, than blood. And I am I'm almost out of work. She finally he's dazed but he's realizing something's going on. They've got his chair in here. Are y'all really trying to end this man's career? Come on, somebody come out. No, no, no. What? My God! They are trying to take the Sheik out. No, no, what? And again, a second time. The Sheik is not going to even be able to walk. They've already tried to take him out one time. He suffered from a concussion. He is not able to even press him tonight. Now he's got his leg pressed. He stumped him for a third time. Can someone come out and stop these damn idiots, these buffoons out here? There is no law and order. What are we? What are you going to do to your? We already somebody come out, save the sheep, save. What are you going to do to your own brother? You bastard! You've already belted your brother last week, and you hit him and beat him again. Why? Someone come out, Corey. I hear. It. Oh yes, Corey. Corey and Logan guns are out, and they're covering the sheep, and they're, they rent, but Riker's still in the ring with the chair. Referee's trying to talk some sense into him. Come on, Riker, let it go, let it go, man, let it go. Leave, leave with your, your idiocy. No! Damn it! Damn it! Cannot anyone stop these guys with their turmoil? He's choking him. He is, is he literally trying to take the Sheik out? Is he trying to kill him? This would be manslaughter, Riker. What are you doing? You're, you could be committing career suicide. You can go to put an ace. You're going to be an accessory to the fact. Taking Riker's spotlight. You are trying to end the man's life here. I thought it was about his career. I think the Sheik is completely choked out. There's not a lot of life left in his body. I am. I am speechless, folks. This is such a tragedy here. Corey back in the ring. I know. I know he's got a concussion from that chair shot here. Coming out trying to help his father-in-law. I bet you he's wondering why did Nadia attack her father? Leaves a lot of questions. What's going to go down later with Nadia and Corey? Here's Logan Guns. One of the Sheik's right hand guys. Logan Guns has been learning under the wing of the Sheik. These four guys in the ring. Just getting the hell beaten out of them. Sheik's holding his leg. I don't even know if the Sheik's gonna be able to walk after this. He may be a cripple. We got someone else coming. People are coming out trying to help. They're hollering out, you didn't want to get hit in the chair. I don't think Max Savage even knows what was going on. Folks, this is crazy. We'll be back in a moment. Before we get set up to our next match, we would like to throw out that One Stop Auto is the place to get all your automotives need done in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Alright folks, we finally got the ring squared away. We got paramedics checking in on the sheet. Here we are, we're getting ready for our first matchup of AWS SCW Revenge. Making his return after a brief absence. From Atlanta, Georgia, Eric Jacob. He will be taking on none other than Logan Gunn. He was out here earlier. He took quite a chair shot. That may play a downfall factor in this matchup. And I believe Eric Jacob already has the upper hand with such dastardly moves 
by Riker and his thugs and goons. Get ready for his opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee. Number one with the gun, Loki Gun, and I, your host with the most, who brings you the best from coast to coast, Mario Man Mushi. I can't give you the rest of the words to rhyme with Mario Man Mushi, but all I can know is not the one to get all of the words to rhyme with Mushi. <laughs> Here we are here, Hard Rock, South Carolina tonight here, 174 Street Highway. And you've been missing out on your AWSSCW monthly wrestling local events. And you are completely a moron. You need to be getting down here to the Crossroads House of Pain. Buy your tickets early. We are selling out show after show with free sale tickets. Half the capacity filled. As soon as the show is announced, I'm being informed right now that half of the tickets for the next show are already sold out. If you want to get in on June 10th, when AWS SCW returns to Orangeburg, South Carolina, for the big local pro wrestling event, please get your tickets now. Don't wait till later. It'll be too late. Seating capacity is at a minimum. So get down here to Orangeburg, South Carolina. Crossroads House of Pain. This is for two pieces of highway. Watch guys, just like the Sheik, Eric Riker, the undisputed champion, Chico Ramirez and Mateo Ramirez, and guys just like they you see in the ring, Aaron Jacobs and number one with the gun, Logan Guns here on your opening contest of AWS SCW Revenge Super Event of the month of May here live in living color. Close lines in the corner from number one with the gun, the man from Knoxville, Tennessee. We got a whip whip back and forth across the ring. A battle of close line corner shots. Here we go, a hook up with the fisherman. Boom and a drop. He's got it hooked in the sink. Where's the referee? Get your ass over there and count, ref. That was a solid hook. Very slow count. Back, back when I was a full-time wrestler, I would have got it disqualified because I would have poked the referee in the eyes. <laughs> I am the coolest cat in the land, daddy. Mario Man Mucci. Yeah, you know who all the hoochies want. They want the Mucci. Right here, here in Orangeburg. I am getting ready for my live debut here soon enough because I am Luchador Especial here at Orangeburg at the House of Pain. And many wrestling promotions, they call me to be their host because I bring the most. And here we are. We got a rip around cross. Ah, and he hits him. Pops the DDT. He got stunned in the gun in there when he got lost in the headlights. That was beautiful. Don't stop and look like a deer in the headlights, son. You will get run over like a Mack truck, Mack Daddy. Here we go. A jackhammer styled maneuver here. Near fall. Folks, earlier we witnessed another horrific beating to our hero, our leader and commissioner, the Sheik at Bar Bashar. Also, the beatdown of Chico Ramirez at the hands of his brother, Mateo. Mateo really has shown where he truly stands, and he stands with that backstabbing, no good, dirty dealing son of a gun, the supreme overlord as he has self-proclaimed, Eric Riker, and a muscle buster from hell. This should be it. And amazing. The amazing tenacity of Logan Guns from kicking out from such an amazing maneuver from Aaron Jacobs. I thought that was it. I thought he had the cat in the bag on that one as they say. A kick to the back of the thigh. That'll mess up your plans for later for any sort of breaking spots. <laughs> Bend him over and break his leg. Fans here in North South Carolina, they love their professional wrestling. They love local pro wrestling here at the House of Pain. We 
have many fans coming in. We have them coming as far as way as Georgia to come watch. And even as far as way, we have a few fans here. I spoke with earlier. They were from Charlotte, North Carolina. A wonderful young man and his wife and two kids came from Charlotte, North Carolina to watch AWS SCW Revenge here at the House of Pain. As the fans say, come on, Logan. Here we go. What's it hooking him up? And a stall fisherman style suplex. Kind of like an underhook suplex there. Aaron Jacobs is really impressing me here tonight. Looks like he hurt himself on that one a little bit. Dazed and rocked his head or something. Not really understanding what happened to him. He must have hit his head on the way down. But he's getting up now. He's a nobody when he says, well, you better be watching out. Keep talking. You don't know what's going to happen. Knocks him silly. And he hangs himself. I think Aaron Jacobs. Aaron Jacobs spit in his face when he went the jump. Oh, my God. That, that is a dirty thing to do to someone. Yeah, I'm being told right now that when he jumped forward, he spit in his eyes. Why? That is not sportsmanlike at all. He spit in his in his eyes. But, <laughs> it is what it is. You do what you got to do to win, baby. And you spit in that dog's eye, and he fell almost to his demise. Almost a tap out on that one there, but he got the ropes instead. Beautiful, beautiful strategy from one Aaron Jacobs, the guy from Atlanta, Georgia, baby. And we got the good old country boy, former military, Logan Gunn. I can tell you this here, you don't want to take it lightly, he'll fire up on you. There's a shove off. Super kick. Ha! I done told these guys, you better get up on your dental insurance. And if not, get in here with these guys like Corey Wallace and Logan Guns because they'll surely kick your teeth out. <laughs> Both guys down working up to the feet. Desperation here. Referee's got another count going. They stopped now. We got Chad. Logan Logan going on here. Is he hooking him up? Trying to go belly to back? Nope. This may be it right here, Blue Thunderbolt. And what in a kick out? Logan Guns here. I think that I got a bad will on Logan Guns. What bravery of trying to finish up this match here. I believe his leg is hurt pretty bad. Referee might have should have called this match. We got another double count going now. Referee getting up to a four count here. As I said earlier, we had that. Dastardly eight stairs come out interrupt. The shoot back barber charge. You know, we've all become to fall in love with our commissioner since December of 2022 when he came back. Putting the referee shirt on and count for three for Rocky to beat KL3. And putting the first nail in the coffin of destroying the NG. All the way to now, Sheik has made it where Riker became the undisputed champion by making sure that other people was out of the way and he turned on his best friend. And now we got a back and forth slug fist. That's not a good idea. Nobody wins in a slug fist. There we go. The kick is a gut there. Hope you didn't eat, any, didn't eat too many cheeseburgers because you're going to pop those things up. <laughs> uh oh. In the Gary. Gosh. Gosh. Just kicked his damn head off. Vicious Logan Guns. This guy is no joke. I can see Logan Guns going to the top of this business. This is the man to keep his eyes on, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Logan, you got this. Falcon Zero, that has got to be it, folks. What? Aaron Jacobs, first match back, and he is trying to show everyone that he is here with vengeance. Under 
Dive bomb. That's got to be it. And that's it, folks. That is it. Logan Guns has defeated Aaron Jacobs. Welcome back, buddy. Victory did not come your way, but you did take an ass whipping today. <laughs> Logan Guns, everybody look out. I am predicting is going to be holding gold before long. He is hungry and more determined than ever. What a first matchup of the night. I am most entertained. And look at the showmanship of Logan Gunn. Helping this guy up. Helping him shake off the cobwebs. They are beautiful, magnificent folks. They both in arms raised. What the hell? Ace Harris, and he takes that one, diving bomb in the corner. Victory sweep for both. Insult to injury. There it is. Ace stunner. What is your problem, Ace Harris? We got a fan shout from Max to come out. I saw Max Savage back by the fruit stand earlier uh, today. He probably's not even watching on the monitor, but somebody call that kid to come out. No! He's already got a bad leg already. What is he doing? What are you doing, Ace? down, Chico Ramirez and Corey, we are tired of taking this crap. We're not going to keep getting pushed around by Riker and his goons. And they saved Logan Guns. We're going to need another medical guy to come on. I'm not... Alright guys, get... if they're done checking with Chico, we need to have something to check on Logan Guns here. Let's try to get squared away for our next matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, later tonight in our main event, as you've seen advertised online, the guy of the Milky Way Galaxy will be taking on the Supreme Overlord, Undisputed Champion, Eric Riker. We would like to also thank one of our sponsors, One Stop Auto. Let's get back to the action here. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is I know this is on. We got Quan Bailey, the man from New York City. Self-proclaimed Mr. Worldwide. His appearances at AWS has been sporadic, to say the least, here over 2023. Referee Rich having a time tonight, cleaning up all the chairs and mess that they're putting out. Quan Bailey here, getting somewhat of a meager reception. Taking on the Live Wire Champion, which the Live Wire Championship is not featured on the AWS Super Show. Live Wire is a separate program, but he is the Live Wire Champion. He is Max Savage. Let me get that hat, bro. Fans, let me get that hat, bro. <laughs> Max Savage! Here we go for the Jersey Turnpike, Max Savage! The current Live Wire Champion, set to take on Mr. Worldwide, the man from New York, taking on the Jersey. Kind of a rival there, New Yorkers in New Jersey. The Jersey Shore people, they don't like New Yorkers. New Yorkers surely don't like the guys across the bridge. <laughs> Double rivalry in the house. Competitor rivalry and rivalry. New York, New Jersey. This here, the second contest of the night after such a beatdown from earlier. And Ace coming out meddling in that match. Add an insult injury to Aaron Jacobs after a one wonderful. Wonderful competitive match. Here we go. Bell ringing. Quan Bailey against Max Savage. And I don't think Quan Bailey is used to getting 
this treatment. Normally, he's a fan favorite, but now, sounds like they're louder from Max Savage. Somewhat even, somewhat a little bit louder. Referee got a little bit of a cheer. Ha! Ah, crazy. Here we go. Set up. Here we go. Tie up between the two. Good wrist lock. Got a good tight turn into it. Pulling it up into a hammer. Got him in the headlock. Headlock takedown. Here we go. Let's go! Let's get it going! Come on, Savage! Let's get it going, son! Gonna show Quan Bailey today why you're a Savage! Just be on the lookout, Quan does have the experience and age advantage on you. But then again, Max having a little bit of size and youth on his size. And Savage being a star student. House of Pain Wrestling Academy, big shoulder. Did you catch the number of that truck that hit you, kid? Let's go back! 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 let I think he pushed him pretty hard on that one. Rolls to the inside of the corner. Pulls him up. Referee, get him out of the corner. There's a European. Snap mirror out. Kick to the back. Might not be any fancy dancing tonight. Juan's getting up there in age. There's a second one. Heavy, heavy thing drop here. And Max Savage, nonchalant cover. Do you really think you would just nonchalantly cover the man from New York? And it would be a kick out. There we go. There's a fire up. We got some life back too. Quan Bailey, here we go. Running in ahead of steam. There's a splash. Snatch up for a headlock. Here we go, running Bulldog. Showing why he is Mr. Worldwide. Taking back seven all around the rest of the world of this ring right now. One side to the other. Hooking him up in the leg. Here we go. What has he got? Slams his ankle down. Got to pull a hamstring for you. Got him stretched apart. And a smashing DDT to the foot and ankle. You stop back. Looks like he's trying to hit. Ah, in the end that box. Turn, oh, oh, no, no, not yet. Now he's got it turned over. One, both guys got the rope. <laughs> Neither guy wants either end of the stick on that one. That was a spectrum. <laughs> uh oh, we got a Quan suck. This crowd is starting to pick a side. Vertical suplex. We got a let's go max count going. Quan, don't let him get in your head, man. You haven't been here in a while. You're not the fan favorite no more. Throws him to the outside, wipes his hands with him. Now why'd you throw him out? What are you gonna do with him? Oh, going out behind the referee's back home. Juan may be doing some dirty tactics. Underhanded shady crap here tonight. I am surprised that Juan is going that way. Can't beat him outside the ring, Juan. If you beat him tonight, you would definitely get a match with him at the next show of Livewire every Monday night in Orange Road, South Carolina. Step up, splash. Correction. Every other Monday night, 
here at the House of Pain, you can catch AWS Livewire. It is released on Monday night on YouTube and put out across Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. There is a short arm spear out of the outer corner. There it is, folks. This is all over. Max Savage is your winner. And... Y'all let everybody hear the introduction. And not only did he beat Juan Bailey, but he beat someone who was a fan favorite. But tonight, the fans swayed towards Max Savage. But are they going to have friendly competition all night long? He's helping. I commend these young men and, and, and these veterans here today. They have really, really shown that it is competition only that they're looking for. Unlike that dirty dirtbag Eric Riker, love both of these guys, Quan Bailey and Mac Savage. All right, folks here. Want to give y'all guys to come to our live shows a little rundown. There are absolutely no drugs or alcohol allowed on the premises, and please, at any time, do not smoke any. Thing inside, no smoking, no vaping, or electronic devices in the building. Let's get on to our next matchup. And I, I was going to get excited, but I don't know if this is Mateo or Chico. Is it good or bad? Rikers the ugly. Here we go. Which one is it, folks? It is that damn Mateo Ramirez. Being accompanied by that slimy grease bag out of him. As you said, folks, anyone getting ready to come to one of our live shows who would like to announce that there are no drugs or alcohol allowed on the premises and absolutely no smoking devices inside. No cigarettes, no vaping of any type and any kind of cartridges of any sort. Please respect the rules of the House of Pain. Just want to let that know for anybody out there coming up, you will be asked to leave immediately. And as we get ready to set up for this next matchup here at AWS SCW Revenge, Mateo Ramirez, and I'm being told that he will be taking on Jack Salem. And his song has started again. I don't know if the fans know about it. From Whitfield, North Carolina, Jack Salem. They love him here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. What an ovation. Jack Salem is taking home Mateo Ramirez. <coughs> little shoulder block action here going on in the middle of the ring. A little cross cross do si -do. There is a senton. Mateo's newfound voice out of hell is out here. Spectate towards the fans. We got a somewhat of a chicken wing going on in the ring. Right to the eyes. I can't believe Mateo has turned evil. I have never thought in my life I would ever see this guy breaking people in the eyes. Here we go. Slash into the corner. Snap fair out. Guy flip over. And right now, it looks like Mateo is trying to show that he is the fastest man in wrestling. Going as fast as lightning. Throwing the hands up at the victory and Son, I don't know about how it is in Mexico, but you got to get the one, two, three before you're considered the winner. There's a reversal, drop kick. Crowd going wild. Yeah. 
They are ecstatic to see him coming back. There's a big kick in the... Gosh! Looked like he was trying to play soccer with the tail's head on that one. I don't know how the tail kicked out of that one. <laughs> that was all instinct there. I see him shaking that off. Wow. Got to get the cobwebs out of that one. That kid just kicked my head off. Shoots him outside the ring. And what's he going for here? Going for a dive, are we? Dives to the outside. Suicide dive. On two. Adam Helms and Mateo got took it out. Shoots him back into the ring. Goes with the shoot off. There's the clothesline. He stops him dead track. He heard him on that one. Just a little too fast for him. Hurt his arm on that one. There it is, drop kick shotgun. And they call him potato, like potato, potato, tomato, tomato, potato, Mateo. Diamond splash. What a weak cover. It's gonna take more than that to destroy the kid that is Jack Salem. I've been watching this kid's career for the last year now. And that kid takes more than that to kill him. The spirit that he has, vertical suplex. Tail shot back to the crowd. Come on, Jack. Don't let this scumbag do you this way. Tail sucks. Oh, no. Devastating gringo cutter, he calls that there. Decapitating the gringo. Going to the top. And he moves. He moves. That would have been it, but he moves. Looks like Jack's getting ready. This might be it. Stomping it up. The crowd will get ready behind him. Wait for him to get up. Throws the kick, throws it away. Picks it up, spine buster. Kicks out. He's getting mad. Crushes him in the corner. There's the shoot off. Beautiful, beautiful spin in the wind. Spin out neck breaker. Well, that boy out like washing machine would. <laughs> Looked like he was trying to crank an old school damn plane there, really. He spun him around on that one. Ah, neck breaker of his own. Shades of the rude awakening right there. He might have learned that from Pimp Down himself. There it was. One, two, three. He hit him with a Pimp Down. That was Shades of Cat Daddy. What was going on in his mind doesn't matter. The winner, Mateo Ramirez here tonight showing that he is not joking. He is not living in his brother's shadow any longer. Adam Helms stepping in the ring here. What the hell are you going to do, Adam Helms? You better not lay your stinking hands on this kid here. Your guys already won the match. What? What is this? What is this here? We got Ace Harris coming out, and we got the undisputed champion, Eric Riker, the self-proclaimed supreme overlord of the universe, the God Killer. And what the hell? He has the Sheik, Shamal, and Egal. The Shamal, the cloth on his head, and the crown, the Egal. This is so disrespectful. What they say, you're tired of losing your friendly swamp, don't you? You tell the fans don't care. The fans did care. into a dominant force to be reckoning with. Ace does hold the goat. Like 
No! Damn it, no, Jack! No, Jack! Don't even think about it! You don't need these bozos! You don't need these losers! No! Come on, fans! Listen to the fans! We love you, Jack! Don't go with these morons! Don't let this bastard rifle talk! What are you doing, Jack? What are you doing? Damn it! Why? Would somebody please tell me what the hell is going on here tonight? Why is he... Why is he bowed down in front of Riker? My God, what what more can go on tonight? Jack Salem joining with Riker's calls to destroy all good. Unbelievable, unbelievable. What will these morons do next? Like, look at this slime ball, meatball, Adam Hill. Even the referee is getting tired of it. Get tired of all of them. I need to sign this super petition a year ago. I will They asked the referee to join with them. A year ago they asked him to sign a petition when there was a whole different group. And Rich is telling him his job is to be a referee to keep things straight. And the Supreme Overlord, Eric Riker, has came out again. Don't give this guy another microphone. Rich, know your place. This is your undisputed champion. Your job is to ah, not Rich kicking dirt at him like a dirty dog. You can do that, Rich, all day. What? The Hall of Fame board is wall in here. What are you talking about, what? A, uh, Riker? What? Back up. Back up. Sit down, okay? Sit down, small donkey. Can we get security in here? Can we stop these guys? Our Hall of Fame display is on the wall over near the concession restroom area. Riker's got a chair to get up high enough. What is he doing? What the hell? He's, we're having fans trying to stop him. He has took him down two pitchers from the Hall of Fame, one of which is Referee Rich, because he is the AWS Hall of Famer for the referees, and he took down the Sheik, Akbar Bashar. What the hell? Where's security? We need, we need some law and order here, folks. I don't know what else to say. These guys here are just doing what they want to do tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, so much has transpired, but we want to let every fan know there's some rules here at the House of Pain. They're going to come up across the screen here. Please take a look at them while we have them up. If you're coming to any of our live shows, please keep these in mind. As we get ready to go to our next segment here, Nadia Omari, maybe we're going to get an explanation for her. She turned on her father earlier. And here she is, she's bringing out, how is she bringing out the AWS Women's Championship? I know that Nikki Jade had cheated to beat her and took not only the AWS, but the ASWA World Women's Championship. We don't know where that title is, but I see the AWS Women's Championship. And I was told earlier that Nikki Jade had to vacate her title and she was fired. Maybe we had some words from... Naughty Omari, and they say she sucks. Hey, Naughty! I want you to talk to me! Let's go, Jesus! Hey, Naughty! 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 Hey,
What? Let me guess, your right, kid? No. Your father trusted you so much you got him to sign paperwork. What kind of paperwork? So pretty much she's saying that she got Nikki Jade fired and stripped of the title and turned on her father tonight. There's going to be a championship scramble to find out who the real champion is right now. So I guess we're going to find out. Nadia Omari has set up for a championship scramble for the women's championship. Turned on her father. Trying to blame her dad for Nikki Jade cheating her out of her title not once, not twice, but three times. But that's still, you turn on your father in this matchup here. I'm being told right now, several ladies involved in this matchup. The sensation from Nashville, Tennessee, Kiara Nicole. Getting ready to make her ring entrance. As this is for the AWS Women's Championship. Multiple ladies going down in this championship scramble. We got the prodigy, Nadia Omari, Kiera Nicole, who are the next participants in this scramble. Remains to be seen here, folks. And I know this song here. This is this is the former manager of uh, Nikki J. And she's also a wrestler herself, Sister Gabriella. I wonder why she didn't get fired. You got rid of one. Something's a conspiracy in this stuff tonight. One thing leading to another is everyone connected in a bunch of cahoots together here. Nadia Omari looks like she's been taking a page out of her father's former career before he became a good guy and fell in love with the fans. Some dirty tactics, maybe a couple of pages of plays from Riker himself. Looks like she's trying to set herself back up to get her championships back. Sister Gabriella so far, Kiera Nicole, and Nadia Omari, Syrian royalty herself. Who is next up on this list? Nadia here playing some trash with the referee. I'm being told there's one more female. Maybe she's getting ready to make her uh I think she's getting ready to make her entrance. Here she comes here. Yes, it is. It's Heatherin making her live debut here tonight. From Jacksonville, Florida. All the way from Jacksonville, Florida. Heatherin. Making her debut here tonight. Looks like she's not making any jokes, any plays tonight. Straight into the ring. She shakes her head. All four of these young ladies are set. Who wants the AWS Women's Championship? I don't know, but we're about to find out here in just a few moments. Bell's ringing. They're going in. Shoots her all. Oh, what? Caught her with that one. She's going for a cover. Where's one? Puts under the rope, referee. But that was only a two count. Uh oh, Nadia's got one down. Hip into one. Weapons of ass destruction. There's a reversal. Close line from Kiera Nicole. Nadia Omari here. Looking over her shoulder. Taking one to a corner. Beats her up, Nadia takes her sucks. to the corner. We got a Nadia sub. There was a snap DDT right there. She's rolling to the outside. I think, I think she's hurt. I think we're gonna need somebody to come check on her. Looks like Sister Gabrielle is pushed and a Vader splash. And we got another one here. Near fall on that one. There's a lockup between these two. I think Sister Gabriella's hurt. She's holding her neck. And Heather in here just being squashed and splashed. 
two left up inside here, just snatching the arm around, takes the arm back, snatches around, got her up. Here we go, headlock spot. There's a reversal. We got a Kiara chant going. There's a shove off. Shoulder. Here we go. She tripped through the referees in the way a blunderhead. She shoots her off. Clothes line. What is this? The Skittles are out here. Why are they out here? They're making fun of everyone. Looks like they're messing with the girls that are already knocked down and laid down. Looks like Nadia says she's not going to have any of these guys coming in. Uh-oh. Kiara's coming out to beat up one of them. Grabs one. Punches. One Skittle gets punched out by Kiara, and the other one got punched out by Nadia. The Skittles is looking like they're going to have their heads rung. They're getting out of Dodge. Here we go. We got another lock up here. They got a hook up here. There's the shove off again. Another shoulder. There's the run and jump over. There's a pass by. She arm drags her. Got her hooked in the arm here. Doesn't look like anyone's going to get out of this one. And we got a let's go Kira. There's an arm ringer. Working her into another one. Got her in a headlock now. Now we got a Nadia chant. There's a reversal. Headlock takedown. We're going to school here now. Got that in there. Oh, got her popped up. Nope, got her hooked in here. Pops up. Comes right back to it. She's telling her to stop chatting. Telling her to stop chatting. Then we got medics coming across over here on the side. Security needs to tell the fans to move out of the way so you can check on Sister Gabriella. I have not seen Heather move since she got splashed. Here's the shove off. Close line. Near fall there off of that deep close line from Kiera Nicole here. Breaks to the eyes. There's the dirty tactics. Got a handful of hair. Smashes her to the corner. Here's the shoulder. Two. Three. Tells the referee to shut up. Hooks her up. Big Bulldog. This is probably it, folks. I have not seen anybody kick out of her Bulldog before. And before she can get a leg hook, there it is. The winner of the match and your new AWS Women's Champion, Nadia. Oh, Laurie. I mean, she won it kind of fair, but there were some dirty tactics, some questionable plays in there. And Nikki Jade has been dethroned, fired, thrown to the wayside. Kira Nicole here is trying to figure out what happened as she makes her way up. Referee's explaining to her, you just got pinned. And I see Heather and getting up. Sister Gabrielle is being carried out, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you're enjoying the show so far. We'd like to plug in an ad for the Crossroads House of Pain Wrestling Academy at 174 Tunis Highway, Orangeburg, South Carolina. You want to make your dreams come true? Contact us today. Let's get on with the next matchup. Now we're going to have a championship scramble match for a winner take all for the ADBS Tag Team Championship and the SCW Tag Team Championship. MOD and Frost Murphy being accompanied by Ghost as they make their way to the ringside here in their debut in Orangeburg, South Carolina. These guys here would be considered the challengers because the other two tag teams are the champions. There was supposed to be a fourth tag team, but for some reason they got injured earlier today. We're not sure. I think these two guys, Ross Murphy and MOD, took care of this and destroyed those guys. At this point in time, the next tag team coming out should be the AWS Tag Team Champions or either the SCW Tag Team Champions. 
This will be the AWS Tag Team Champion, Bubba and Dixie Hawk. This is a winner take all. So whoever wins this matchup will take the AWS and the SCW Tag Team Championship. The Stranglers recently defeat the Ramirez brothers after Mateo turned on his brother. They are the FCW Tag Team Champions. You can find all your AWS FCW wrestling content on YouTube at the YouTube channel on the Alternative Wrestling Showcase. And be on the lookout for many, many episodes of Livewire, which this week coming, Season 2 of AWS Livewire will be starting Monday at 6 p.m. Tag Team Champions for the FCW, the Stranglers, getting ready to make their way to the ringside. Strangler 1 and Strangler 2. This week, one's under the white mask. Black Society would feel about this here, but they're not in town tonight. They are out taking care of other business elsewhere, proving why they are making their comeback as one of the most dominant tag teams in the Carolinas. Black Society recently picking up one of our sister promotions, Battleground Championship Wrestling's Tag Team Championship. They're also a former SCW Tag Team Champion and a former AWS Tag Team Champion. Those guys will be back in action very soon here at the House of Pain for AWS SCW. Referee carrying around all four titles. AWS SCW titles on the line. Winner take all tonight in this championship scramble. Who will be starting for who? It looks like an uh, argument between the AWS champions and the newcomers. Frost Murphy and MOD. Looks like MOD will be starting for the natural born thrillers. And Strangler 1 will be starting for the Stranglers. And a standoff and a push off. Does it look like MOD is intimidated by Strangler 1? And there's a punch. Kicks him in the leg. And gotta watch the Strangler. He is known for a being a somewhat of a kickbox background or something because he kicks the crap out of him week in and week out. Close line in the corner. There's a tag to Strangler number two. Big kick. Another big close line in the corner. He slips his legs out. Here we go. What are we going running into? There is a dive cannonball on top of the guy. Pulls him out. Near fall here for the Stranglers. Looks like the Stranglers having a wardrobe malfunction or is he just having blues? <laughs> Here at the House of Pain here, each and every week we do have some of the best wrestling happening around for local local wrestling. Dive back elbow here. MOD is getting an ass whipping here tonight in their debut for AWS SCW. There's a punch to the ribs from Strangler number one. Back suplex. A lot of feet between these two guys. There's the cover, near fall. Again, this is a winner take all matchup between the SCW Tag Team Champions and AW Tag Team Champions. And I've been told everybody, when you work it here at AWS, you better get your dental plan together. If not, you will have your teeth rearranged by several of these guys. MOD and Frost Murphy, newcomers here at the House of Pain. 
new students as well as they are beginning their new training career at the prestigious Wrestling Academy known as the House of Pain at the Crossroads Community here at 1742 Mises Highway. There's a shoot off. Trips up into him. There's the tag out. You messed up now. There's the there is the big redneck Bubba Hog. He does not mind to beat you down. He doesn't care if you frown either. Because he'll turn it upside down for himself and take a laugh in your face and beat you. Each way from Sunday to Monday, all the way back till Saturday. There's a dive in for the bubble splash. We got a bubble sucks check going on. AWS Tag Team Champion Bubba Hogg beating up one Frost Murphy. One of the challengers and newcomers here in AWS. Uppercut through the throat thrust. He's telling him to come on. Gives him a forearm. He falls all the way into the corner and tags his partner. Kicks that one to the gut, club to the back. Don't come in with a nonchalant spot with Bubba Hogg because they were rough and tough and beat you up. Now Dixie Hogg's coming in. Looks like she's trying to go for a pillar post tie up. Here we go. She's got one. Got him hooked up. And he tapped. And he has tapped out. And those guys lost their debut and has tapped out to Dixie Hall. They're eliminated now. Here we go. What an arm drag to Dixie. Not used to seeing Dixie Hall getting swung around like that, but she just took one. Taking an arm. Club to the back. Another club to the back. Dixie here got a, a arm cross and shoulder chicken wing combination. And there was a rake to the eyes. You know, that's some poetic justice here because Dixie and Bubba do a lot of cheeks. The Stringers do a lot of cheeks. Now the big man from both sides in the ring at the same time. Who's going to outshow who? And experience. There was a toe kick in. Gets him up. There's a slap. Bubba Hogg here. Trying to lay waste to Strangler number two and retain the AWS Tag Team Championship and gain the SCW Tag Team Championship. It's going to be, ooh, slap the taste right out of his mouth. Bubba Hogg here. Ah, there's the poetic justice back. Two guys that are cheaters, Strangler number two and Bubba Hogg. Double splash. Looks like he's going for a third one. And he hits the third one. Bubba Hogg falling out. Doesn't know what's going on. He's in days of the future. Stomp to the back. Another stomp to the back. Bubba Hogg trying to fight back up out of this one. A couple of Bubba Hogg uppercuts. Classic Bubba Hogg. Another one. Bubba Hogg with an elbow. Tags out. Now we have the smaller one of the Stranglers, the fast one. The one that's wide open. And there's the lockup. There's a knee from Bubba Hogg. Hooks him for a suplex as we're going. Here we go. And holds him up. Let that blood rush to the head. And Timber. This matchup here is winding down, folks, here. We've already got team number one eliminated. Which one will be holding both tag team championships? Will it be the team of Bubba and Dick Cobb or the Stranglers? SCW tag team champions and AWS tag team champions here together. Once and for all, who is the tag team to worry about? There was a tag. 
the referee catch it? I don't think so. Shoulder to the knees. Did the referee see that? There's a splash. There's two. There's three. Dixie can't believe it. And we have undisputed tag team champions. The Stringlers have beaten Bubba and Dixie Hog. Bubba and Dixie Hog have finally been dethroned. They need to have that song. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. Get your ass out. Get your ass out. You are losers. You have no gold. I don't like the Stranglers, but they beat your ass, and now they have double the gold. And what's this? Oh, that's the NG. What in the world? They're not scheduled to be here. Not that I know of. Man. Yeah, you hear me on the... What? I'm trying to listen in on my earpiece. Max is telling me now. There was a, there's a match later on tonight for Big Rick. But this is unscheduled. Cat Daddy's been suspended. KMD's been suspended. And KL3 has been suspended. This is just Big Rick and the AWS Light Heavyweight Champion, Bradley Wright. Looks like they want some tag team gold. The MG did say they were coming to take all the gold. But they look like they're three men short of a sandwich. And Big Rick looks hungry. <laughs> MG sucks. MG sucks. MG sucks. MG sucks. What's this? They've hit him. On the Mastodon. He's got him. That's the Don Slam. They may be double champions, but right now, they've been beat down. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Big Rick says they are nothing. Next show. Coming next show, the titles are all. Not that I know of. You didn't win those titles. You better leave those titles when you found them. You bunch of idiots, bunch of buffoons, thieves, and heathens. I wish you, I wish the sheik was here to send you guys where you need to go. Actually, the fans don't like none of the three of you that's out here. Black society should come back and mop the floor with you guys. Pay to see you, kid. You better go shine your bald head and go light up your dark life because you're dreaming. Come on, referee, get that title from that chrome dome guy over there. All right, all right, Big Rick, put your hands on him and you'll be the fourth member of the ENG suspended until further notice. Let's get some law and order in here, Big Rick. Who's gonna stop Big Rick? I mean, how are we gonna stop him? What are we gonna do to stop him? I, I'm being told now, they're trying to get somebody, they're letting everybody in the back know who wants to face Big Rick. Is anybody gonna come out here and put a stop to these thugs all night? If it isn't right, we got the NG, and the NG has been a thorn in the fan side for almost two years now. Like, someone come out here and put Big Rick in his place. Someone, damn it. I'm tired of these thugs always thinking they can take over everything. They need to put me on the live event payroll roster. I will come behind this counter going there. 
but yeah. Big Rick, a little too big for my choosing. And that Mastodon Slam is pretty gnarly, and I don't want to be a victim of that. You're being told right now, he is Jesus up. Looks like we got something playing. We had something playing here. Looks like they're trying to psych Big Rick out. What is, what is going on? I'm being told now they got someone coming around. We had a guy that was scheduled to wrestle tonight. He was supposed to make his debut on Livewire later this week. He's in town all the way from Thailand. Yeah. Making his debut tonight. They're going to go ahead. They, they've already signed the release on That's what we're waiting on. I mean, I have no idea who music this is here. I'm waiting for them to give me the name here. The announcer knows the name. Yes, it is. It's Sean Lee. The guy from Thailand. A guy that is a martial artist from Thailand who is trying to get into the wrestling world. He started wrestling in Thailand. AWS has brought him in. He was scheduled to be in Livewire this week coming. They went ahead and signed off on a match real quick. This Big Rick won the challenge. Sean Lee and Big Rick right here, right now at AWS Revenge. All right, referee, get that chrome dome shining light bulb out of the ring, Mr. Clean. Somebody get him a mop bucket so he can go clean up the toilet. Big Rick, Sean Lee, one on one, right here tonight. AWS Revenge. Would somebody get Mr. Clean out of here and calling people ugly and everything? Someone's gonna hurt this guy. The power of the Mastodon Big Rick is undeniable and incredible. There's a kick, another kick, another kick. And then you forget we have Sean Lee here, martial arts extraordinary. And now this march is not doing anything. I don't think so. Boom! Stop Sean Lee dead in his tracks. Who can stop the Mastodon Big Rick? He is talking trash to him. You love the fans. Referee's trying to tell him to quit squeezing the back of his neck. And slams him like a toy drag doll. Got him up again here. Go call your daddy cat daddy. Look at this folks, double underhook. Club to the back, that's probably the biggest club in AWS. Arms the size of baseball bats. Sean Lee trying to fight back, firing up, and another baseball bat to the back. Almost like a softball bat, maybe. Bigger than a baseball bat. Toying with him now, come on, come on. There's some big rights. Sean Lee, maybe not the biggest debut here for him, when he's got the biggest guy on the roster. Spinoff stops him again. Big 18 wheeler style stopping him in tracks. I know we make jokes about dental plans. We make jokes about hearing the headlights and catching the number of that bus that hit me. But when it comes to a guy the size of Big Rick, I hope you guys that work in the ring with this man and compete with him, you have your medical expenses paid up. And you may want to have some hazard in life insurance because this guy may end your career and possibly end your life. I don't even think Big Rick even needs CNG. I think Big Rick is just nasty.
He is nasty. He just wants to hurt people. Big Rick is a monster. A gargantuan mastodon. And he is coming. He is like he's unfazed. What can stop Big Rick? There he go. Tosses him out like a toy plane. Like my son the other day made a toy plane out of paper and shot it across the room. That's how Big Rick just shot Sean out. And what are you talking about? You tell me you got something in your eye. Yeah, your damn eyeballs, you idiot. Well, this idiot chrome dome on the outside mopping the floor up with Sean Lee. You guys couldn't do it on your own, huh, Big Rick? Big Rick, as big as you are, you're like five men in one. That's already an advantage. You got to have a six man on the outside. You are the NG by yourself. What do we got going here? Oh. Power slam jackhammer combination here from Big Rick. And I mean, he just throw him around like a, like a kid. Big Rick stalking him. Tells him to come on, kid. Come on. Pushing him around. He said, show us something. We got Bradley Riot, the AWS Light Heavyweight Champion, talking to fans. Looked like he was going for it again. Now, now he's got him hooked in a, he's got him in a sleeper. He can't get a hold of him. Legs are swinging around, can't get around him. Now he's finally got it latched in. And a chair to the back. These damn bastards. Sean Lee winning his debut match. But at what price with the beat from these guys? And now he's sitting on him. He's showing it to the fans. This is your guy. Big Rick doesn't even care that he lost the match. He just wanted to hurt someone. He's a master. Now he's got his foot on his back. Someone get out here and stop these guys. That's a whole lot of bowl of gravy right there, son. That just went on with Sean Lee's back. Won't be worrying about Pad Thai when he goes back to uh, Thailand. He's going to need a whole new type of soup to eat. Because he's going to be breaking through a straw after the beat that he took from here. Three. A camera glitch on him. Here, referee Rich getting mad. Throwing the chair out. Here comes Max Savage out. I don't think they're going to be intimidated by you, Max Savage. Shoving up on the NG. Oh, gosh. He really ringed his head with that punch. Super kick. Oh no! Max Savage, I'm sorry kid. Live wire champion or not, you're going downtown, buddy. Down, down, down. Down to one stop at Medical Island. He needs hospital help now with the Mastodon Slam. The carnage that's being left here tonight. And they're calling for Corey. I don't think Corey wants none of the masses done. They're all been beaten up here tonight. Someone's going to have to stand up to all these idiots. And now, your damn music's playing. Leave, you bunch of thugs. You're just the baddest striker. Tossing them across each other. Wow. What's going to happen next, folks? All right, folks. The night is winding down. We have one more sponsor I'd like to speak about at this moment. Alternative Graphics. You need some graphics made. Check them out on Facebook, Alternative Graphics. And let's get ready for the next lineup here. What do we have? Wait a minute. This is not on my schedule. What is this? Not these assholes again. Eric Riker, the Glory Hog, like we've seen you earlier. You beat up the Sheik and Chico. You came out. You somehow spun your web of lies on Jack Taylor. You got him being your 
somewhat prodigy baby Riker. And you got Ace Harris, the Wooly Badger. You got that backstabbing, no good piece of trash tail right here. And that slimy grease ball of human play, Adam Hill. What do you got to say now? But tonight, I'm not here to talk about uh, who's supposed to be my opponent, who is yet to show up, which is Sam Dominic, the, the god of the Milky Way Galaxy. Don't worry, he'll be here. Uh, Milky Way Galaxy, but we haven't seen or heard from the so-called god of the Milky Way Galaxy. Oh yeah, and I and think he's got, got your message, number, buddy. If he was to show up here tonight, I would lay him out just like the other false god, the sheep. The Syrian God and the God of the Milky Way Galaxy has history. Guess what, buddy? Guess what, buddy? That's right. I know that music there. He is coming in right now. The God of the Milky Way Galaxy is coming down with us humans. And don't worry. He has a whole bottle of ugly feet gone, baby. Right. Step back. Hide behind all of your idiots. <coughs> oh, where are you running? Why are you getting outside the road? Well, you guys really feel strong. You got so many numbers, huh? You're right to hide behind. And he's shooting them with the ugly be gone spray. Back up, ugly. Ugly be gone. There's a little bit for each one of you ugly idiots and get out of here. Ugly be gone from the god of the Milky Way galaxy. That's right, why are you running? They should start that as a chant. Put that on a t-shirt for Riker. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Well, he's got a double shot of ugly be gone. Hello, human. We're gonna hold him down and tickle his insides. <laughs> about that, Riker? Sounds like you're about to get violated. Who wants to get on the microphone first? Come get some. He said, know what? I'll come to you. Oh, he's coming at him with the ugly be gone. And right. Ah, he's called Ace. Ace leaving through the crowd. He's got him. Ah. Ah. The guy the Way Galaxy. M. Dominic has a ride here tonight, human. Later tonight, it will be him and the Supreme Omer Overlord, the former savior of professional wrestling. <laughs> All right, folks, we're getting ready for one of three main events coming up. We would like to thank one of our most beloved sponsors, the Glamour Web. If you need personal branding and coaching, please get a hold of Elaine Bridges at the Glamour Web as we get with the first of three main events tonight for the AWS House of Pain Championship. Speedy Gonzale himself out here tonight. Finally, let's see if this young man can get some retribution. Chico Ramirez. I'm a fellow luchador myself. I love this kid. And one day, Royal Man Mookie and Chico Ramirez will be teaming up to beat the socks of anyone that stands in our way. As we got the gasolina getting ready to burn the house down here for the House of Pain Championship. Here he is. That idiot is just out here. I thought that ugly be gone washed him away. From Moneta, South Carolina, the man in black, the Wooly Badger, the House of Pain Champion, Ace Harris. And he doesn't have any of his monkeys with him. And he doesn't have his owner, Eric Riker. Out here dictating his match. Unbelievable. Say the least. 
I didn't think Ace could beat someone else, just like Sheik said on Facebook the other week. Sheik said Ace didn't have an original thought to save his life, and all he did was do exactly what Riker told him to do. I see it, and I believe it. So do these fans. We're getting ready here. First of three main events. Second main event coming up. Reese Dominic making his debut here at the Crossroads House of Pain against Corey Wallace, the Dynamite Kid. And if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be a number one contendership for the AWS Light Heavyweight Championship presently and currently held by the Chrome Dome Light Bulb Idiot, Mr. Clean, Bradley Wright. And the bell is away. Here we go, folks. Let's see Chico Ramirez kick Aces ass. Chico said, come on, buddy. I am the fastest man in professional wrestling, Speedy Gonzalez. As you hear, Chico, 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 Chico. They know him and they love him. Here at the House of Pain. Here we go, call her up a tie up here. One of the night's matches that I've been waiting and dying to see. Let's go, that's right. Locked up in the corner, we got a, we got a count going here. I'd hate for this to end in disqualification and if the other do it. Okay, they broke clean on that one. I think Chico took that as an insult though. Ace trying to play the fair and square type guy here, and we know he's as dirty as they come. Here we go, tie up again. Ah, we got an arm ringer straight into it. Oh my God, how fast that was. Arm ringer to a headlock and a headlock takedown. He's told you how you like that one there. How fast was that one for you? And then the ace here is trying to say he pulled his hair. Chico would never pull your hair, buddy. You don't even have enough hair to pull. All right, knee to the gut. Club. Ooh. Ooh. And a stomp for insult. Come on, Chico. We got to hear for uh, Ace here. Ah, European uppercut. And Ace is. He may not know how to think for himself. And he may only listen to Eric Riker. Eric Riker must be his baby daddy. But uh, I can tell you this the movie Badger is a gnarly, sadistic individual. Chop to the chest, chop to the belly. Coming in, hit of steam. There's a splash. Comes out. Sidewalk slam. Near fall. Only a two count. As the night draws closer to the main event. This is one of three. The main event, the final match for the AWS SCW Undisputed Championships. The God of the Milky Way Galaxy. Coming down with the humans, Sam Dominic, taking on the AWS SCW Undisputed Heavyweight World Champion, the God Killer, the former savior of professional wrestling, now the supreme overlord of professional wrestling, Eric Riker. As the Willie Badger here, so nasty and sadistic here towards the crowd. How'd you like that there, beating up your favorite? Ace is one of the meanest guys I've ever met in professional wrestling. I wouldn't want to be in a, a dark alley with that guy because I'd definitely have to reach for my 9mm and blow him away because I am definitely not fighting a Willie Badger. Here we go, dive for the neck breaker. Here we go, beautiful. That might, that might take me enough to take him. Nope. So close, so close, but so far. Hey, you might need to give me about five minutes to go get my coffee. Give me five minutes to go make some coffee. <laughs> Got him in a keyhole lock here. He might tap on this. Nope. Ace is trying to work up. Uh, got him here for the shoot off. Drop kick. Let's go, Chico. The man of the hour, former GWL Tag Team Champion. Two time GWL Tag Team Champion. A former two time 
AWS Tag Team Champion, a former AWS Light Heavyweight Champion, and recently former SCW Tag Team Champion. Looks like he is ready to climb the ring and the reins of success here at AWS with or without Mateo Ramirez. I believe Chico is the man to keep your eyes on, just like I said with Corey. This guy right here is showing us that he is no joke. He is here to stay. Made his way all the way from Tijuana, Mexico via El Paso, Texas. Pokes him in the eyes. Referee should have been in on that one. The guy almost didn't even find the corner because he couldn't see. Here we go. Eight deep in with those. He goes, he goes. Dive in on that one. Gosh. That was a lot of, that was a lot of, uh, behind, as they say. <laughs> That'll change a man's life there when you have that much gas in the face. All right, now, don't argue with the zebra. The zebra can throw you out. But, I mean, Ace would like it. He would retain his title. Chico would win by disqualification, but a title doesn't change. Look out, it's the Geary. Let's go, Chico! Get up, son! Show why you are the fastest man in professional wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a wonderful night of professional wrestling here at AWS SCW again. Like we've been telling you, we do not give away many matches online, but this show here being one of our big shows of the year, we will allow you folks to see it. Really soon, after we've completed the editing process, which goes along with these events, other shows that previously happened, we will be releasing those over the summer. But if you want to come see this action, you have to come watch it live in living color. Or you can wait long in between when you get to see solid events, just as these here across the top of the Here we go. Going for the cover. Can't believe Ace kicked out on that one. Big heavy kick. Catches him. Spine buster. Only a two count. June the 10th. And 1742 Nico Highway will be our Let's next go. event. Let's go, you know where the place will be. 1742 Nico Highway, Crossroads House of Pain. Drops him with a pop up power bomb. Almost, a, almost. That was so close. Folks. A mission, $10. If you buy your tickets in advance, it's only $7 a person. And we have been selling. Right now, I've been told that half the tickets for the June 10th show has already been sold. Folks, get your tickets. Now he's got him. Oh, no. Here we go. What, what the hell is Mateo doing out here? And now what the hell is this guy doing out here? What the hell? No, 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 stunner! No. Mateo, you bastard. And there it is, folks. AWS House of Pain Championship has been retained by Ace Harris. And what are we doing here? Gringo Cutter. I am sick of these guys here. Like I said, if you want to come out June the 10th to see if Riker's girlfriend's getting beat up, I know Sheik's going to have something in store for these guys. A mission $10, $7 in advance. Children 13 years and younger are free. Make it on down. Here we go. Number one with the gun, Logan Guns has got run out through the crowd. He said he is tired of this bull crap. 
That's right. You don't like it when it's more people, right? When the number games don't play out, you tuck tail and run like a bunch of coward dogs. Loaded guns in the ring right now. The fastest man in pro wrestling and the loaded gun himself loading gun here as we got gasolina in the house. We're gonna burn it down. We're gonna burn Riker and all of his girlfriends down. If they don't stay out of the way here. That's right, the crowd's giving a round of applause to Chico Ramirez. That match should have been his. Folks, that was crap. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the second of three main events tonight. Reese Dominic taking on Corey Wallace. Reese Dominic's debut here at the House of Pain. Number one contendership match for the AWS Light Heavyweight Championship. Fan favorite, another local sensation, truly native of Branchville, South Carolina. Kid Dynamite, Corey Wallace. They know him, they love him. I don't know what ovation that Reese Dominic's gonna have because anyone coming out against Corey Wallace has got not only the fans to contend with, but such a competitor like not been seen in a long time. And it looks like Corey got the microphone. He's got something to say. I don't even think he knows who he's supposed to be facing. So before I get to this match, I got a couple of things I want to get off my chest real quick. What? All right, listen. Big Nick came out here earlier, right? Right. And he was talking about who's going to take him, right? Right. I don't know if he remembers this or not. I mean, I kicked kind of hard. But two weeks ago, you're right. I him on his butt and I you eliminated him Big Rick and that six man tag. You're the only guy that's done it. See, bro, there's only been one time you ever beat me, and that was with the AG by your side. Never beat me, fair and square. So the AWS White Heavyweight Championship you got, you better count the days, because I promise your time's right, and that trip, I'm a bad call with me. And it very well could happen here tonight. He could get the number one leadership right here. All right, here we go. The debut of Reese Dominic here against Corey Wallace. Winner becomes the number one contender to the AWS Light Heavyweight Championship. Contest is scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from Branchville, South Carolina, the Dynamite Kid, Corey. Second of three main events here. This basically being the cold. One more now. After this one, we're going to the final main event for the AWS SCW Undisputed Championship. Eric Riker, the man with the titles. There you go, and Corey Wallace beastly takes down Reese Dominic. F, the god of the Milky Way Galaxy, and Eric Riker. Coming up. Knocks him off. Reese Dominic here. Nobody home. Corey trying to jump in. Nobody home. Here we go. Head scissors. Reese Dominic a little flashy here tonight. Going for a cover. There's the kick out. Don't worry about arguing with the referee, kid. Stay on Corey if you want to get this championship spot. There's a kick. There's a on. Double axe handles kick on for cover again. I like this kid here. 
Only way to win the match is to pin the guys back. The more chances you pin, the more chances you win. There's a chop. Here we go. Almost took his head off with that one. Give him some more of that, they said. Okay, here we go. We're gonna give him one now. Ah, this guy's here. Whew. And it was a bunch of them. Oh, they give him one more. Here we go. Ah, we don't have to butcher each other, fellas. You gotta pin to win. Reeves Dominic rolling out the ring. Ha. Taking him a break, taking him a break. He's got to count. There's no way to win on the outside, my friend. This is a standard matchup. Number one contendership. And he got caught in the ropes here. Not paying attention. Corey capitalizing here. There's the shoot off. Wind up. There he goes. Back elbow. Looks like he took the tip of that one. Pushes him down. Leg drop. Almost. Almost pinned him. On the leg drop. Here we go. Throw away German suplex. Corey Wallace here, showing why he is the former AWS Light Heavyweight Champion. Here he goes, sending him away again. Spins him up, up. Caught him with another head scissors. Reese Dominic here, trying to stay in the game. He may be the next number one contender to the Light Heavyweight Championship. You know, I'd have to say with the experience here, goes to Corey. But I know Bradley Wyatt. Advantage would be for him if Reese did win. Bradley would have the experience over Reese. But on the other hand, if the Dynamite Kid gets it, Bradley may be in sad shape. Here we go. Knocks him down. A little flyby on that one here. He gets him hooked up. Big throwaway suplex on that one there. He dropped with some authority under that one there. Corey Wallace here showing why he is the explosive dynamite kid. Big stomp to the spine and a stomp to the solar plexus. Here he is now. We got some trash talking coming for him. He's rolling to the outside. I just said, you're going to get counted out, kid. You can't win the number one contendership without pinning to win it. Corey going to the outside. Uh-oh, he's taking a run from him. Rolls in. Kicks him. Double axe handle to the back. Crowd saying don't take that. Oh, wow. Knee to the forehead. Might even been to the temple. Drags him out by one leg. What do we got here? Ah! He trying to make him meet his knee. Spins through. He's got him locked in place here. Almost similar to what we saw. We got the ropes here, similar to what Quan Bailey did earlier tonight. Looks like uh, Reese is getting a little annoyed with the fans. He said, you cheer for him? Corey just, Corey just dropped him with a short little uppercut. Kick to the back. Double X handle. Yeah, we got a crowd. You should chop him again. Getting him up. Reese looks like he's tired out. Runs him off. Reese is out of gas. Samoan drop here. Wait for Reese to get up. If he hits it. Roaring dynamite. There it went. That is it, folks. The winner of the match and the number one contender to the AWS Light Heavyweight Championship, Kid Dynamite, Corey Wallace. He will be going on to face Bradley Ryan in the future for the AWS Light Heavyweight Championship. I wonder how Bradley Wright feels seeing that in the back right now. I bet you he's counting his blessings because Corey Wallace is coming for you, my friend. And, folks, you know what's coming up next? Folks, 
One last sponsor to thank, Gold Star Roadside. For all your roadside assistance needs, call 803-596-2789. Now it is time for the final main event of the evening. What we all here, folks, for the undisputed AWS SCW Championships. Amp Dominic, the challenger, coming in to face off with Eric Riker, the god of the Milky Way Galaxy, taking on the former savior professional wrestling. Now, the self-proclaimed overlord of professional wrestling. Here tonight, a showdown of giants. As we are awaiting the entrance of Amp Dominic. Amp Dominic is a cartoon of a character if there's ever been one. I have watched this guy's career for years. I love the God of the Milky Way Galaxy, baby. And if you have problems, call Mr. Skittles. He'll show you how to buy some ugly be gone so you can have ugly gone forever out of your life for all a low payment of $19.95, baby. No COD, no cash, no delivery. Call 1-800-GOD of the Milky Way Galaxy. M. Dominic will answer the phone and tell you Ugly be gone. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's if they want to have a God in Milky Way Galaxy statue. That's what I'm getting told here in my earpiece. Oh, they need to call 1 800 Ugly Be Gone and order right now. Buy one, get one free. 1995 with a small shipping and handling fee of $1.95 for. Ugly Be Gone, made by the God of the Milky Way Galaxy, Amp Dominic. As we are awaiting the entrance, I know he's probably coming with the full ensemble and the whole entourage. The former savior of professional wrestling, the backstabber and betrayer himself, the supreme overlord of professional wrestling, the undisputed AWS and MCW World Heavyweight Champion, Eric Riker. Ah, special announcement by his group with the <laughs> The new Sheik. God killer, the dark supreme overlord, and the new sheep, Eric Wright. You're going to pay for trying to take that title. And look at the mug on his face as he is wearing the sheep headdress, the shamal, the ceremonial shamal, golden black, and the royal crown, the eagle. Set upon his head. You are not Syrian royalty. Only the Sheik is. You're going to pay for that. You're going to pay dearly, my friend. Just wait till the Sheik gets back in shape. I hope the Sheik's going to be okay because we need heroes like him and Aunt Dominic to destroy impeccable peons such as Eric Riker, who does not deserve to hold the coveted AWS or the SCW World Heavyweight Championship here. But tonight, maybe, just maybe, some justice will be served as the god of the Milky Way Galaxy has thrown in for us humans so we can be entertained by him as he squirts the ugly be gone towards the ensemble entourage. Let's see if the supreme overlord, the new sheik, Eric Riker, got what it takes for, as he calls himself the god killer. Can he kill the god of the Milky Way Galaxy? Let's get it on here tonight here. I am ready for this. I have waited for over a week since this match has been announced online on Facebook. Eric Riker taking on Amp Dominic for the first time anywhere, any place, at any time in professional wrestling history. They have tried. North Carolina tried. Georgia has tried. Texas has tried. Oklahoma tried. Even Florida has tried. And it has been tried a couple times in South Carolina, but for the first time ever, AWS SCW finally 
put the money in the right spot, contract signed on the dotted lines, dates and times set up, the first time ever in professional wrestling history, two guys of such demeanor and character, such cartoon animated characters, Eric Riker and Amp Dominic, for the first time meeting each other in the square circle tonight. One of the most exciting matches that I have ever been ready to call is going down right now in front of me, in my front of my very eyes. Such a gift here. Is it Christmas? Is it Hanukkah? Is it Ramadan? Is it my birthday? I don't know, but it's something to celebrate right here to watch these two gods of the ring. Now we got the Riker Suck chant go as the God of the Milky Way Galaxy, the guy who loves us humans, coming down to save us with Ugly Be Gone in his pocket. Talking about Riker's Island here. I don't think you're going to take the God of the Milky Way Galaxy to Riker's Island tonight, buddy. I think that the God of the Milky Way Galaxy is going to give you a ride on the Big Dipper, baby. <laughs> Here we go, the bell has rang. Let's see this action. Showing the foot down to the impeccable peon. The peasant. Pissant. Yes, yeah, right, right, we're so. The Riker is terrified. Hiding behind the referee. My, how the mighty has fallen. That's right, the three students. Such animation here, Vamp Dominic. Hides out for the referee one more time. Already a count going, going up to seven. Hey, Referee's not playing any games on this one. Riker is going to count it out. But you know what? He would like that because you can't lose your title on a count out. Are we going for real? Oh, look at there. Spin around. He's trying to hold him down to tickle his inside. And he gets away, escapes to the ropes. Ha! Ah, and the God of the Milky Way trying to let him ride the Big Dipper. Tickle his insides. Get that booty, as somebody said in the crowd. We got young viewers right now. Might be the time to turn away and put on the bed one. <laughs> God of the Milky Way is such a character. What will he do next? We hope he makes the ugly be gone. Reaches out again. Got him. Got him hooked up. Rolls him down. Got him behind. Sitting down on him. Got the ropes again. Now they're starting to feel bad for Riker, I heard. Riker's been violated and humiliated. Much like what you've been doing to people all night, Riker. How do you like it back, kid? Tell me it's a family show. How about Riker been out here beating up everyone with chairs all night? Adam Helms needs to be shut up and shoved into a blender somewhere and set on high and forgotten about. What did he do? He poked him in the eye. Referee. You didn't see it, but he poked the guy in the damn eye. And here's a reversal. Oh, no. Big double chop. Almost sent him right er, out of the ring and amp out of the ring. Amp is ready to dance, baby. Go pat the little wussy on his back. Out there like a little asshole. Whoa, here we go. He's going for a dive and over the top he goes. He took them all out. Except for that slimy grease ball of a meatball. Adam Hill. Oh, and he didn't get Riker. He just took out the chrome dome. Riker's back in the ring. Amp, you better watch out. I think they got something slick coming. 
Drop kick to the back. Gosh. What? What the hell are you doing, ref? Don't turn your back. The hell with Riker's leg. He tried to break the Sheik's leg earlier. Look at these damn heathens. These damn thugs over here. They're beating the hell out of the God of the Milky Way Galaxy here. My God. And they toss him back in the ring like a rag doll. After he's been beaten and broken. Are you kidding me? That's what I say, sister. Are you kidding me? These damn assholes. Somebody's got to make these jerks pay. Don't think you're going to count him out that easy yet. Riker sucks. Riker sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is winding down. This is be the main event here. I'm your host, Mario Man Mucci. You know what rhymes with it, and I won't say the rest of it. Just know all the hoochies come along for the moochie. Here, the god of the Milky Way Galaxy threatening to let Riker ride the Big Dipper and tickle his innards. But it looks like Riker's got other words. What is this? Ah! Ah! He's going to find some kind of way to get him off, and oh my god! One way or another, he's got him away. Like a god, baby. He ran through, and you got to ride the Big Dipper. He rode that Big Dipper all right. Washing him in the back here. Uh-oh. What are we going? He slaps him in the back. He's got him up. Oh. He's trying to lock it in. I think he's got it locked this time. Here we go. Oh, here we go. He's got him in the upside down surfboard. Ah, and he almost got counted out this damn referee. And he slaps him in the back like, what the hell is Jack Salem doing up here? You should send his ass to the back. These idiots out here all night, these imbeciles and morons getting involved in everything while Riker is getting a taste of his own medicine. I bet you he doesn't like having his legs tied up like that. What the heck? Ah, he missed him and hit him. And he hit him. Gosh, the number games are just taking too much on him. A Terrace, you damn woolly badger. <laughs> Come on, ref. Tell me you didn't see that. So much distractions here. The referee can't see what's going on. He's got his foot in the back of his neck. Ah! Riker's literally trying to decapitate the god of the Milky Way galaxy. Proving why he is the supreme overlord of professional wrestling. There's one neck breaker. I've seen this before. There's two neck breakers. And he's got to break them all the way up. And one more. The three rings of death is what he calls that one. Oh my God. Only a God can kick out of that one. Proof that he truly is the God of the wicked. And what the hell's Mateo doing up here every damn time? Why? Why oh why is this happening? And he's choking, and now he's trying to fight back. Picks him up and tosses him away. Folks, I am flabbergasted, almost speechless. But I see the God of the Milky Way Galaxy. He is standing tall, standing loud and proud. They're coming. Oh, here he comes again. And oh, no. He stopped him dead in his tracks. Drops him out with a RKO DDT style maneuver here to the floor in the concrete. That first dive over it worked that second time. All the guys were out of the way. And Riker threw up a forearm. I think 
If I'm not mistaken, Amp may be cut. He knocked the crap out of him. The prone dummies are over here clapping their hands and applaud the supreme overlord of professional wrestling, bowing down towards him and everything. What in the crap is going on here tonight? Let's go, Sheik! They're calling for Sheik to come out, but Sheik is not here anymore. Sheik had to be taken to a hospital for a second time in two weeks, and they're beating up Amp. And what the hell is the referee doing? He's got his back turned. But the Chromies are getting their behinds handed to him out here. Yeah, touch the guy of the Milky Way Galaxy again, you bunch of idiot buffoons. And what's going on here? Here we go. Shoulder block style tackle. That's what I want to know. Why do you guys keep getting involved? But you got your behinds handed to you that time. There's a couple of hits. He knocks him into a corner again. He's getting him out the corner. Getting ready. I think he's trying to knock his block off for this one here. Here he goes. And he needs the corner turnbuckle. Now Amp's here. Oh, big two. That was probably two of the biggest punches I've ever seen in my life. Uh-oh. Oh, light him up. I wish I didn't crowd start me. Light him up. Light him up. Uh-oh, a swivel in the hibble. He's showing him here. It's all in the hips, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sit out. Power ball. That might be it, folks. And he sits his ass in his face. A <laughs> little bit of a ironic moment there. A little payback for Amp Dominic. I am no way, shape, or form on the side of Riker, but it is ironic. It did. It kind of went back the other way. Riker's Island going to hook. Oh, oh, oh! Up, up, and away. That must have been a ride on the little dipper there. Amp looking out at the guys on the floor, not sure who's coming to do what, who's going to mess with what, but he's got to keep an eye out on every single person because of these cheating idiots. Riker here, dazed and confused, big dive over clothesline, going in for a pick. What the? Why? Why? Ace coming in, he runs at him, ducks under, big power slam. That's what you get, Ace. You shouldn't be getting involved in all this stuff here. Swivels in. Twiddle D. Ah! Oh my God! Referee, that's the wrong guy. What are you doing? What are you doing, referee? That's not even the guy. Referee doesn't even know what's going on. That's how you can tell. He's lost control. Here we go. God killer cutter. Here it is, folks. Oh my God, is that gonna hit? Three! What? Oh my God. And it took a multitude of group of guys to beat the guys in the Galaxy. Now Riker's still going to be arrogant than ever. The Syrian god of wrestling and the Milky Way god of the galaxy, the Sheik Akbar Bashar and M. Dominic, all fell victim to Eric Riker tonight, and he has retained his title with the help of his idiot chrome dome buddy, his little girlfriend. And all I can say is, folks, M. Dominic here, Mad, I would be mad as well. But at the end of the night, Eric Riker is still your undefeated at the moment and undisputed AWS and SCW World Heavyweight Champion, folks. That is all. This was Revenge.